a lot of what I do is, is get a little more down and dirty uh, with body language for persuasion. And I teach people how to talk their way out of a traffic ticket when they get pulled over. And so I thought it'd be pretty fun just to wrap up with this, okay? So you're driving along, minding your own business when suddenly you see flashing lights behind you. Whoop, you're busted. Oh, this is gonna go automatically on me. <laughs> you're busted. Most cops can be persuaded. Like the decision to give you a ticket hasn't been determined yet, okay? So it's up to you to do the right things, to pay attention differently so that you can get off scot-free. Because remember, cops are people too. Now I know this because I get pulled over a lot, a lot. I've been pulled over nine times in the past three years, and so what follows is my system for getting out of a ticket. Now, I was running 100% of, of getting out. Now I'm down to 87%. Uh, from last fall, <laughs> but I, I want to give, give you the tools so that you can create a nice high winning percentage for yourself too, because you're going to be pulled over sometime. It is guaranteed. Rule number one, roll the windows down. Roll down the front window, roll down the back window, turn on the dome light if it's dark. Let them see in. They don't know if you've got a back seat full of guns or weapons of mass destruction. Rule number two, this is optional. Have a cute animal with you at all times. This is my dog, Journey. I actually got out of a ticket in the Panhandle of Texas because the cop thought she was cute. The first thing he said to me was, that is a beautiful animal. I talked to him for so long about the dog, I think he forgot why he pulled me over and let me go. If you don't have a dog, try a cute kid. It might work the same. I don't have proof of this. I'm just thinking, my, this is my niece, Blakely. She is just cute as a button. Next up, do not ask if they smell bacon or make Boy Scout jokes like when are they going to get the, their Eagle Scout award? While tempting, these will certainly land you in jail and uh, you'll definitely get, get a ticket to go along with it. So watch your mouth, okay? Next up, oh, next up, keep your hands on the steering wheel. Our inclination is to like rustle through your, your purse and your glove box. Don't do that. They think you're looking for a gun. Okay, they think you're pulling a gun. Make yourself seem safe. Keep your hands on the steering wheel. Wait till you're asked, wait till you're asked to retrieve your documents and say, hey, they're in my purse and in my glove box. Is it okay if I get them from there? It tells them exactly where your hands are gonna go. So they're gonna be 100% comfortable with you, okay? Now is the time you wanna use your tonality to paint the picture that you want. Remember, words, lead to feelings. And the feelings you create at this moment are more important than anything they think they've seen you do or any number they've seen on a radar gun. And you better get ready because there's some questions gonna be coming down the pipe really quickly. So be careful how you answer. And the questions go like this. Where are you going? Do you know how fast you were going? And that's when you say, oh, you know, nodding your head, yes. It felt like I was just poking along back to Boulder. You're painting a picture in his mind. Attention to detail at this moment can make the difference between you getting a ticket and between you going off scot-free. So don't take chances. Be deliberate with what you do.